First off, straight off the bat, I hate that I have to say the secret to building abs or the truth about building abs to get you to watch the video. Because the reality is, there is no secret and the truth stares at you in the face a few times a day, every day. But before I get into the details, I need to break down the facts. Because for any of this to make sense, I need for you to have a basic understanding of your anatomy and how building muscle and burning fat works. Okay, so abs, we all have- With this quick intermission to shout out the sponsors of this video, Honey. No, not that, this. It's a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. Here's how it works. Here I'm shopping for an item on brighter cost where you can get vitamins, supplements, and a bunch of other awesome home stuff. Since I already have Honey on my MacBook, it pops up in the corner at checkout and all I have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds while Honey does its thing. Since Honey found a coupon, I save $5.30 on these vitamins so I can keep my immune system topped up. Honey is perfect for Vitacross Big Sale, which happens on May the 9th. Do not miss it. From the 9th to the 10th, you can get 20% off vitamins and minerals and herbal supplements. And from the 11th to the 13th, you can get 15% off site-wide. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. <laughs> not like that. It will come in great during Vitacross Anniversary Sale, where they have the lowest prices of the year on your go-to healthy products. Plus it works on over a ton of other websites that you already shop on. Whether it's activewear, home decor, or tech, they've got you covered. You can get Honey free today by going to joinhoney.com slash Simeon or clicking the link in my description. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. Let's go. Okay, so abs, we all have them. Male, female, tall, short, lean as Christian Bell in that movie where he couldn't sleep, or as round as Violet in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There isn't a human being on this earth that doesn't have abs. You get abs, you get abs. And you get abs! Everybody gets abs! All 7,953,952,517 78 79 people on this planet have abdominal muscles, but there are a select few of us that would like to see these muscles on the outside. However, along with sharing these muscles, one thing we all have in common is fat. There are in fact four types of fat in the body, but the fact that you're watching this video, I'm gonna make the presumption that your only concern is the subcutaneous fat that sits right there. As much as I want to share with you the fascinating details about the four different types of fat, there is so much we have to get through, so I'm gonna save that for another video. So we've established that we all have abs and we all have a layer of fat that covers the abs. The only difference is some of us have more and some of us have less. Now there's a few problems everyone seems to have with getting abs and I think we've dispelled the first one already. It was in the name, getting abs. There is nothing to get, you've got them already. It might sound simple, but just having that knowledge alone can change your approach to this whole subject. Realizing this is something that you already own takes it off that unobtainable pedestal that you've placed it on. So change your thinking right now. You already own this. With a few simple, consistent steps, you'll be able to see it. So if we scrap the term getting abs, how should we describe this endeavor? I think a more practical description is revealing abs, which smoothly leads me right onto the second and most important issue the fitness industry has with this subject. 90% of content on revealing abs doesn't help you reveal abs at all. It instead focuses heavily on building abs and they are not the same thing. I'll tell you why this is so prevalent in the industry. It's all in the visuals. And the irony is some of you are gonna miss this as you've probably already switched off or clicked through the video looking for the special exercises. For some of you, this is just too much talking. And because we are all predispositioned to be more stimulated by visual stimuli, you're looking for exercises as opposed to listening to me. That means when it comes to revealing abs, the majority of you would much rather see a lean dude or dudette with fantastic abs swinging their legs around like a windmill, rather than listening to someone break down the habits you need to adopt to actually achieve the goal. And I get it, it makes sense. I myself have been on national television teaching the masses how to build abs. It makes great TV and you can learn some new workouts. The reality is the majority of people who will then go and follow these workouts would be better served with the knowledge on how to actually reduce their body fat. But that's just not sexy, is it? This isn't the first video I've created on this subject and I encourage you to watch the others. Each time I rack my brain to try and figure out the best approach to really nail down on the difference between building abs and revealing abs. The first time I had a blank sheet of paper. The second, I had an avocado. This time, I have a sled. 
In every video, the message I try to convey to you is that your goal is to reveal your abs. Your main concern when training should be to reduce your body fat. And that being said, I am duty bound to remind you that spot fat reduction is a myth. You cannot target a specific area with muscle building exercises, hoping that it will emulsify the fat in that area. It won't. And now for my visual demonstration. Let's imagine that this line here is the goal. This is low body fat, lean with abs popping. Guys, that means about 15% or less. Ladies, about 20% or less. You are here. And those plates are your fat. Now me pushing the sled represents you building your abs, doing crunches, planks, and all that good stuff. As you can see, we are making very, very slow progress because we're carrying so much fat. But let's imagine we take active measures to reduce our body fat. We scrap sugary filled drinks. We limit our intake of fast food and alcohol. We ensure we're performing at least 30 minutes cardio each training session, burning three to 500 calories. Each of these steps makes it easier to achieve your goal. The thing is, I bet you knew all of that, right? So why the hell aren't you doing it? I see and have spoken to so many people carrying excess body fat whose goal is to see their abdominals and they really do work hard on their abs every gym session. I'm not saying they're wasting their time, but damn, you're definitely taking the long road. If your goal is to reveal your abs and you're not doing any of these things I've mentioned, I want you to just picture this every time because that's what you're doing. Now, I wanna give you some tangible, practical tips that will have you dropping pounds in a week. Follow me. I want you to open your fridge and if there's sugary drinks in there, chuck them. Usually I would say that moderation is key with most things, but with fizzy drinks with added sugar, I just can't. Beverages are the leading category source of added sugar. So for now, the sugary drinks have got to go in the bin. And no, you're not going to replace your copious consumption of fizzy drinks with fruit juice. Sugar that's added to processed foods is much more harmful to your health than natural sugar in foods like fruits and vegetables. So although I'm not going to ask you to throw it away, I am going to suggest that you limit your intake because the sugar in fruit juice is still high. There's about 24 grams of sugar in a glass of orange juice. You see, that's one basic easy step you can make to knock a few hundred or thousand calories off your weekly calorie consumption. And that's bringing you that extra step closer to being in a deficit so you can start to reduce your body fat and get closer to seeing your abs. I'm gonna produce a whole video on nutrition with more tips like this. Some of you are gonna to need to make small changes while others are gonna to have to have a complete overhaul, but we're all gonna get there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe and the like button. I really wanna help as many of you as possible. So tell your friends, share the videos, Peace out.